God is so loving, and the Bible says that he is, then surely he wouldn't send anyone to hell, would he? The question is, how can a loving God send someone to hell? How could a good God send nice people to hell? How can a loving God send a good person to hell? How can a loving God send people to hell? What? So I had this question asked to me, that's the reason why I'm making this video. I was outside preaching and one lady asked me, if God is so loving, why does he send people to hell? So everyone is asking the same question. If God is so good, why does he send people to hell? Now look at this verse right now that I'm showing you. When the Garden of Eden was created, it was a perfect garden. Adam was without sin. Eve was without sin but they had their free will to serve God correct in Genesis 2 7 2 16 and 17 the Lord said and the Lord God commanded the man saying of every tree think about it my friend every tree do you know how many trees the garden had a lot of trees and God said of every tree of the garden thou may freely eat so that means they had the opportunity to eat from every tree in the garden but what did they do let's follow and it says in verse 17 but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it for in the day that thou eat thereof thou shalt surely die so that was the word that the Lord gave to Adam and Eve who was born perfect. So that means if you disobey the word of God, there is a consequence. That's it. If you disobey the word of God, you can't say if God is so good, why he does he send people to hell? If you disobey, then you deserve to go to hell. If you keep fornicating, if you keep drinking, if you keep smoking, if you keep partying, if you keep committing adultery, if you, if you keep masturbating, if you keep watching pornography, you deserve to be punished in hell. When God gave him the commitment, God was not joking. That's the problem with our generation. We think that when God gave us a commitment, he's joking around. He's not joking around. Now here's the reason why people go to hell. What does it say in Genesis 3? I'm making this thing clear to you guys. It says now the serpent. Who is the serpent? Who is the serpent? The devil is the serpent. Satan, whatever you call him. His name used to be Lucifer. The dragon. The, 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 the beast. Or you can call him the, the accuser of the brethren. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, now, notice whom the devil tried to deceive. He went to the woman to deceive Adam. And he said unto the woman, yeah, had God said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. That's why, man, you gotta keep your women from speaking to men that they shouldn't be talking with. Now here the woman having a conversation with Satan. That's why she got deceived. She's having a conversation with Satan. So she was the door, the entrance door for the devil to enter into this world, for sin to enter into this world, and for the hell to enter into this world because she was talking with the serpent. And what did the serpent say to Eve? The serpent said to Eve, unto the woman you shall not die. And they listen to the serpent instead of listening to God. That's why a lot of people go to hell. Because they are listening to Satan instead of listening to God Almighty. And after she listened to Satan, what did she see? And the woman saw that the tree was good for food. That's why a lot of people think fornication is good. 
That's why a lot of people think smoking weed is good. That's why a lot of people think smoking pot is good. That's why a lot of people think Smith sniffing marijuana is good. That's why a lot of people think that guzzling beer, guzzling liquor is good. Because they are wearing the sunglasses of Satan. They, it looks good in their eyes. But God said no is no. That's why a lot of people go to hell. It's not because that God is so loving that he can't send people to hell. Because you are being rebellious. You are being disobedient to God. Period. Now if you go in the Old, New Testament, what does it say? It says, in whom the God of this world has blinded the mind of them which believe not. Lest the light um, of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ who is the image of God should shine on them. They can't see it because the devil is blinding them. That's why people are being deceived. It is still Satan that was walking in the garden. It is still Satan that is deceiving people today. Now let's go to the book of Revelation. 20 verse 10. What it says? And the devil that deceived them were cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beasts and the false prophets are. And shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw the white throne judgment of him that sat on it. From whose face of the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead small and great stand before God. And the books were open. And another book was open. Which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things. Which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead. Which were in it. In death. In hell. There go the word hell. Hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man. According to their works. There you go. In death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. That's why people go to hell. Because they want to follow the devil. So they're going to go to hell with the devil. What must you do so that you won't perish? Jesus is going to give you the answer. Let's look at it. Jesus says what? I tell you, nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. If you don't repent from your fornication, if you don't repent from your masturbation, if you don't repent from your drinking liquor, if you don't repent from your fornication, if you don't repent from your homosexuality, if you don't repent from your lesbianism, if you don't repent, etc. If you don't repent from those sins, you will perish. That's why Jesus says, words in red, I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. That's it. That's the word of God, my friend. That's the reason why after Peter was preaching, and what did the people say? The people said unto him, he said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And that's what they did. And that's how they got saved, my friend. Because they repent of their sin. God forgive them. That's the only way you can escape hell. Other than that, you will perish. May God bless you. May God keep you. Until the next video.